Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Movie. While I'm driving my car, I'm talking about movies. Ain't talking about love. Talking about movies. That's right. Unless the movie has some love in it. I don't know. Speaking of love, uh, I kind of changed gears here for a little bit. I know I've been doing all the giallo stuff, uh, murder mystery stuff. If you've been listening, you've been checking out some of those episodes and Sometimes you have to just change it up. And uh, I had a request to do seed people. That's right. People are actually asking for more full moon movies. And I get it, right? They're fun. So we're going to talk about seed people from 1992, classified as a sci-fi horror flick. Uh, Hey, kids. What do you do if you want to remake Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but you don't really have the budget and you want to have some creatures in it? That's right. You go to Full Moon and you make Seed People. So that kind of gives you the what's really happening with this movie. Uh, this movie is directed by Peter Manugian. I'm hoping I'm saying that. Manugian, Manugian. Uh, the same guy that brought us Arena. The same guy that brought us The Eliminators. So there you go. That that made your ears prick up, right? Everybody loves some Eliminators. So, uh, yeah, like we said, it's full moon. You kind of know what you're getting. The synopsis for this is peaceful residents of Comet Valley fall under the spell of alien invaders plotting to germinate more of their kind. Yeah, it's a straight-up Invasion of the Body Snatchers remake, but it's got some cool creatures in it. So we can sit here and talk about all the plot. We can talk about the fact that a, that a meteor lands, and it's not really a meteor. It's from another planet, and it germinates because it's actually a seed, and it's going to grow to this ugly, disgusting flower. And people are going to walk up to it, and it's going to squirt all over them, for lack of a better term, and turn you into a seed person. So what's the twist here? Well, the twist is you become a ship, a shape, shape shifter, right? So you can uh, you can be a person or look like a person, a la Invasion of Body Snatchers, but you can also turn into these creatures. Which is, come on, let's, that's why we're checking this movie out, right? Because the artwork says it all. And this is one of the cases where, yeah, this is pretty much what you see in the movie is what's on the cover. Uh, not as cool looking, but pretty dang close, right? Now, we can talk about all this stuff, about how it's a ripoff, all this stuff, but let's talk about the real story. The real story about this movie is about three guys in this small town all trying to hook up with a blonde, a hot blonde that runs a B&B. And she happens to have uh, a maid that either can read your mind or something else is wrong with her, right? Let's just face it, she's an alien, right? So that's really the story here. None of this stuff, none of the story would ever happen. These guys would not brave life and limb to go fight these creatures if it weren't for this blonde. And I get it. I mean, that's kind of what we do, right? It's supposed to be the protectors. But if they weren't interested in the girls, I really doubt that uh, any of this story would have really happened. <laughs> that's just my take. Uh, the story is told from a hospital bed. Uh, our main character, who is, let me look, uh, not relevant. No, no, here he is. Sam Hemmings, right? And he's a, I'm looking for the right word here, meteorologist, <laughs> a meteor scientist. A, uh, he studies meteors, right? A comet chaser? I don't know. Meteorologist would make more sense, but being we use that to tell the weather, that's a totally different thing. But uh, this guy comes into town, and he used to be married to the blonde that's running the place, right? 
That's my take, or at least you used to be a couple. I, again, I may be missing something here. It's not really important. All you know is they have a past. And she also has a past with the cop in town. And she's also married to another guy. So this woman's been getting around. That's all I want to say. So it could be, uh, instead of seed people, could be slut people. Just, you know, which, come on, who would put it past Charles Band not to make a movie called Slut People? Uh, gingerbread, Ginger Dead Man versus the Slut People. There you go, Charles. I'm hooking you up for a, your next hit. Or Doll Man versus the Slut People. Which is ironic because you could have really ran into, you know, the seed people versus somebody as far as this goes. <clears throat> but um, this is told bedside from this guy. And he's telling an, an investigator everything that happened, right? So all this is past tense. So almost kind of film noir. We're getting a lot of voiceovers, a lot of narration. Uh, but we're telling the story after it's already happened. And he's telling the investigator everything he knows. And, you know, it basically is what I just said. A, a, a meteor kind of crashes. And this one guy goes out to where the, the crash is. And he sees this ungodly looking plant. Walks up to it and it just spews all over it. And not just a little either, man. I'm talking, <laughs> dude gets caked. I don't know, man. Could have been a porn scene here is all I'm saying. But dude just melts into something else, right? And um, he becomes this creature that doesn't really have legs. It's like it's walking on what would be the arms, right? And you can see what they did here, right? And it's a pretty cool effect. But it's basically a guy with his legs, you know, crossed kind of Indian style, if you want to say that. That's not the right term anymore. But his legs are crossed, and he's picking his body up on his arms and walking on his arms, and they just built a, a rubber costume on the dude. Pretty cool, right? Haven't really seen it anywhere else that I know of. But there you go. There's the nuts and bolts of that. Um, now, a second guy goes out there who owns an orchard, and this thing starts spitting sticky soybeans all over him. So even the attacks are totally different from one to the other. I guess just to keep it interesting, or maybe the, the spew flower tore up and they had to come up with another version. This reminds me a lot of Fulci with the, uh, the raining maggots thing, right? Where they just stick to your face. Obviously, it's, you know, peas or whatever that they're shooting through the air and they stick to you. Same concept here. But, uh, so this dude gets these things all over him and he turns into I don't know some kind of spider looking creature which is pretty cool looking as well have to admit uh, these creatures are unique and I think that's one thing it's got going for it uh, if you took the creatures out of it you've got straight up invasion of the body snatchers because they're even going to a hive or a cone they call it that is hosting hundreds and hundreds of seeds and they're trying to load them on a truck and take them across the United States or wherever and spread them out so it takes over more people. So you've got the almost exact same story, except you've got a, a professor or a doctor in the town, a scientist, who they even call Doc, just like Back to the Future, who dresses like a Ghostbuster and puts... UV lights on his head, and I love how they spend all this time talking about UV lights, right? As the story goes along, they find out that uh, UV lights can, can destroy them. But at the end of the day, nobody's thought about just shooting one of them <laughs> or hacking one up with an axe. So we spend all this time trying to rig up pesticides and all this stuff to fight when, you know, a good shotgun would really do the job. But, uh, you know, it does have the uh, the effect of you don't know who's a person and who's not. So you kind of got that going on. And you get some pretty good fight scenes here. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it's entertaining. When it got going at first, I thought, ah, it's going to kind of drag and we won't see anything till the end. 
No, you you get hit pretty pretty quick with some stuff. There's this one. I'm not gonna reveal who it is, but this one that can, you know, it turns into the, like the starfish looking creature, but then it can roll up like a coconut and just start chasing you. Kind of like the whole idea of what was it, Critters two or three, where they make the great big ball and come rolling after you, right? <laughs> Remember how we thought that was cool? Well, this is that kind of cool, right? This thing can just go, wah, and just shrink itself down and start chasing you like a giant fuzzy coconut coming after you. That's pretty fun, man. Um, you get to see some people getting chewed up by these things, and you're not really sure if they actually get killed or they become more of the sea people, which pretty much the whole idea of this is... Not to really kill anybody, but just to take over, right? So come to find out that the Ghostbuster scientist doc has this drawing that's in a cave that shows the coming of this. It had been going on for decades and decades or hundreds of years. And, you know, there's all this backstory, which, you know, if you think about Invasion of the Body Snatchers, you know, you never get a backstory of when it happened it just starts right so this is kind of giving you an explanation of oh no this has been the plan all along so you kind of get that idea of it and uh i don't know man it's full moon so you know what you're getting you're getting a lot of cliched one-liners you're getting some mm, okay effects you get a really good truck explosion in this one i think was really good um you get a little twist at the end of the movie right so I'm just going to kind of leave that one there so you can check that out for yourself. But overall, this is fun. It's a pretty fun flick. So uh, that's about all I've got for this one. I say check it out. On a scale of 1 to 5, I'm going to give it a good steady 3. I think it's good. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I, I liked it. And, you know, I wouldn't mind showing some scenes of this to some other people. And... Uh, but yeah, just wanted to get this one out there and do yourself a favor. It's on Tubi, just like all this other stuff. Check it out. Hope you enjoy it. And we will check you later.